Well, I told you my name's William. Yes. Uh, this is actually a reality show <laughs> called Rod with Willie. Oh, Rod with Billy. Oh, okay. See the cameras? In the yeah. Car? yeah. Oh, you got two cameras. Would you care if I shared your story on my YouTube channel? No, that's fine. Riding with Billy, how about that? <laughs> For William, you can sit up front if you like, sir. Huh? You can ride up front. You don't have to ride in the back. Okay. Come on up here. Can't do it, William. Huh? How you doing, sir? Good. How Good you? to meet you. Good to meet you. It's a good, strong grip you got there. Huh? Stronger grip than I got. Right there. I'm gonna, I just turned 81. 81? Yeah. All right, William. That's fantastic. September 7th. What you kind of work did March you do in your career? Excuse me? What kind of work did you do? That's a, that's, you got I, used to have a, I used to have a computer company. A what company? Computer. Computer Your business. Company. Where'd you get that grip from? Working out? Oh, yeah. Old Marine. Yeah. Marine Corps guy. Good for you. Marine Corps? Uh, yeah. Military, you. military police. Thank you for serving. God bless you. Where are we heading to today, William? Doctor's uh, office. Doctor's office, all right. Yeah. Says we'll have you there in about uh, 23 minutes. Okay. What year were you in the Marine Corps? What year? Uh, was 64, it a 64 to 70. Oh, so were you in Vietnam? Vietnam, yeah. I was stateside most of the time, though, because the uh, military police unit, we were <laughs> signed, signed to patrol beaches. Interesting. Because a lot of the guys came in. Um, well, that's you, just your seatbelt. Huh? You. Oh. Yeah. So patrol the beaches where? On the east, west yeah, coast? coast? Yeah, east coast. Where are you from originally, William? Uh, Kentucky. Kind of called Frankfurt, state capital. Yeah, I'm in a homeless shelter now. Got divorced in 2018, and my life went to crap. When did this happen? 2018. What happened? Had divorce. Sorry to hear that. My wife, my ex-wife, just passed away. A lot of building going on here, man. That's just crazy. Everywhere you so, look, right. someone, I think someone told me that uh, there was 49 hotels going up, are, are planned in, the, in, in planned to go up here yeah. in the next couple of years. That's, that's crazy. A lot of housing. Housing, and apartment, your condos. Yeah. I need to set up. Can't get that call through all that or whatever it is. Bingo. Yeah, I got that for you. I got a spot for that. Okay. Here you go. What's your name again? I am William, too. Are you? I go, by, I go by my middle name. Yeah. William, William Marshall Jones. I go by Marshall. Marshall. Look at Marshall. Well, I'm William Alfred Kitchens. Alfred was my dad's name. I grew up. First name was Billy. Okay. In college, it was Bill. And during my wife, life, it was William. <laughs> but you like Marshall now? Yeah. I like that, too. That was my grandfather's name. Marshall Long. How long have you been at the shelter? Uh, about a year. They like, treat you good a there. Year too, year too long. It's kind of a rough place, or is it? Uh, it can they, be they rough. Help you. It can be rough if you. It's they kind have, of how they, they have. They have. It. They have their fights and all. Yeah. So, you know, people so close together they can't get along. Everybody wants their space. Sure. You know. It's one of the few shelters in the country that's absolutely free. Everything's free. Yeah. There's more going up to the stadium over there. Yep. They've already broken ground on it. Oh, sorry, started breaking ground, huh? They have. have they? Yeah. They've already got it. You'll see where it's where fenced they, off here. Where at? You see where it's all fenced off here? Oh, yeah. You see the construction's going to start. Yeah. I'm interested to learn how they're going to. What are they going to do with that one? At, Housing. Housing? Shops, <laughs> restaurants. Shops and all. Yeah. Turned. You see all the heavy yeah. equipment out here? Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's going to be uh, open January of 2027. The new stadium. That'll come down right after the uh, 
Well, this Final is 24, so that's only two little over three two years. years. Yeah. Three years. So that'll come down immediately after the final home. Oh, they will tear it down now. Yeah. Yeah, they're going to start construction there. They're going to have to. So who's floating the bonds? The city? Uh, city and private. I'm not sure what the total dynamic on that was. I just know it brings a lot of revenue to the area. Yeah. yeah. And that Super Bowl will, too. Sure. Who's your team? You're up in Kentucky. You got to be a Kentucky I'm, I'm, basketball I'm, fan. I'm an alumni of University of Kentucky. Well, okay. catching my team. I picked them to win. All right. I keep. I picked them. I got UConn and Kentucky going to the finals. What about professional team? Do you have a horse in that race? Well, I lived in San Antonio, Texas for 43 years. And, okay. You know, I watched the San Antonio Spurs. But really, I don't have a favorite. NFL team or a baseball team? No. Uh, NFL, for me, is uh, the Packers. Okay. Well, I like Levis. I'm excited about it having him here in Tennessee. Are you? Kentucky quarterback, you know. Yeah? Yeah. He's a Kentucky quarterback? Yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, so the Titans, they'll might have to get you to change your mind about that. <laughs> Other than Atlanta Falcons. You mean about Tennessee? I grew, I grew up. No, about Titans, yeah. You got the Titans off. Yeah, you, can both the, you don't have an NFL well, team. They used to be the Houston owners. That's right. Yeah, when I was, went to, moved to San Antonio, they were the Houston Warriors. Right. Then they were Memphis, though. They moved Memphis originally, didn't they? Well, they just played in Memphis for a year because they had a stadium big enough to, to hold them while they were right. trying to construct the stadium. Oh, they, they played good. a few games at Vanderbilt. They played, okay. yeah. Yeah, so we got the stadium. I just, I just remember they went to Houston. No, they put the cart Memphis. before the horse. They got yeah. the team before they got the stadium. Stadium. <laughs> Who's the? Do you know the, who the any of the owners are? Uh, the they're still the Adams family. The Adams family. Yeah. What are they into? Well, they own the Oilers. They're still the the I daughter know. runs it. I, 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 daughter, okay. you know, yeah. I'm just wondering what kind of business they into. Uh, I do not know. Oh, okay. I can tell you about Arthur Blank and the Falcons. I can tell you talking mm -hmm. about him. The Home Depot. Home Depot, yep. Yeah. You look great. 81, you said? Man. I need to show you, though. Well. Yeah, I turned 81 Sunday, last Sunday. Well, happy birthday. Belated. Yeah, people can't. I don't know. I don't know why, but people says I got. I don't look eighty. You know what? I don't know what I've done. To make it. So I ask people, well, how old? He's good I, How old do you think I really am? And they say, well, I don't know, sixty-five, maybe. <coughs> One guy picked me out as being fifty-four. <laughs> I thought he's ridiculous. Well, you only as old as Phil, right? Excuse me. How do you feel? You feel good? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, good. Very good. Good. Getting all this going home traffic. People mm -hmm. ready to get home. It starts earlier and earlier. Well, this is a intersection, but what I call it, intersection city, because the interstates are. You know, yeah. The old Eisenhower design yeah. of the interstate system right. it changes the way everything right. they and, move uh, through. They're so you have a lot of trucking. Yeah, Nashville's put the cart before the horse, too. They're growing before the infrastructure's ready. Sure. Look at this. This horrible. Yeah. What do they do? They cut this up? Looks like this park been cut up. To yeah, it's re repaid. to be paid, but they haven't got around to it yet. Do you know this? I, someone, yeah, it's one of the most expensive, expensive cities in the country. Hotel, no, hotel. That's uh, not in California. Not, huh? No, well. Taxes would eat you up if you were in California. That's why we got so many Californians moving here. Yeah. Same thing in San Antonio. They just building like you wouldn't believe, but they have a lot of people in California moving in. Texas. People like the uh, Texas. People like Texas and they like Tennessee. They yeah. like Florida. They like the states that are 
Right. Less, friendly, friendly and tax free. Less blue. Huh? Less blue. Yeah. Is there an income tax here? No state or country. No, tax. that's what. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Florida, Texas, Tennessee don't have any state yeah, income tax. And uh, Tennessee's working on getting rid of the food tax. Are they? Yeah, so you can nice. buy groceries. That would, help. that would help the That people. would help a lot of people. Yeah, they're going to transfer it over to the sin taxes, the cigarettes, vape. Oh, okay. Alcohol. Yeah. Increase that. They call it the sin tax. Sin I've heard it called that. Sin tax. Yeah, you never heard that? The sin tax? Yeah. Well, it's a huge amount of dirt. We're in the Bible Belt, you know. That's a... Yeah, I know. When I was in Memphis, uh, they they said Memphis is like the buckle of the Bible Belt. <laughs> Memphis is the buckle, buckle of the Bible, Bible Belt. Belt. Yeah. Well, I say it's probably pretty good to get yeah, out. It stretches all the way from. What is it? North Carolina, all the way from Tennessee to yeah, Dallas, Texas, you know. Everything south of that. So how do you, uh, it's probably good to get out a little bit today, isn't it? Yeah. This weather, it's nice. Oh, yeah. Well, how do you, uh, what do you do to keep busy there at the shelter right now while you're you know, they don't offer much, they don't have any, they don't have any exercise equipment or anything like that that would be nice to have. Because I'm usually, I like to go to the gym. Right. And uh, I have my insurance, my health insurance provides uh, a gym membership. membership, but I can't get there because I have to take a bus every time. Mm. And that's $4 every day for a round trip. You can't get the uh, bus pass? The Yeah, quick ticket. The unlimited quick ticket. Yeah. It's called quick ticket. Yeah. We'll get the monthly pass. Well, that would make it cheaper, wouldn't it? Yeah, it's a little bit cheaper. They don't offer a, a lot of cheap, but they do. I think if you do a daily count of cost against the uh, monthly pass, you save about $10. Which are, uh, I'm it just makes it more handy to have a quick ticket, you know. Well, yeah. I'm sorry, I interrupted. You. No, well, I was going to say well, they help you with that there, don't they? No, they won't. They don't provide. There's some organizations that do. Not, not the mission, no. Because I work with uh, Rue at the Inn. Well, that's why I go a lot. Yeah. Room Is that yeah. where I've seen you? You've been there. Yeah, I manage the. Uh, I work at the one at Dallas View Baptist. I'm not at the at the actual room at the end, but I'm a I'm an innkeeper. You're an innkeeper. Yeah, which means uh, my church houses you? houses room at the end residents. Um, we do it every every Monday night. You do yours Monday night. We well, our church does it sure, Monday yeah. night. I, I, you, I do it. You're talking about, you talk about uh, the, the Winter Haven. Program. Yeah. Yeah. yeah with the, okay. What church you go? Uh, it's Dallason, Dallason View Baptist. Yeah. Yep. I'm not sure whether I've been out there or not. But you might have. You I may have been when winter. I was there. You may have been. I haven't this winter, I, but I did last winter. I did it a lot. Yeah. This is my second uh, second year. Okay. Probably the last. Uh, I'm doing the last weekend. Uh, this next weekend. I run November through March. Well, that's, that, you know, that to me is a very nice program that they have. It's for guys to get out, get away. Her, get a whole their, cook their, meal, their, yeah, fellowship. Yeah, their, vibe, their environment. And uh, you don't mind sleeping on a cot. I can imagine those cots are not comfortable. I've, you know, sure. You know, the innkeepers stay on one too, so. Okay. It's, uh, but it's a good program. Yes, it is. They just run it, what, from November to March? Yeah, winter months. Yeah. It's a great program. Yeah, it's not very good. But other than that, there's not a lot, not a lot of money that you can do as far as activity. You know, they got the courtyard, but that's most guys just sit around and do nothing. 
or stay on their phones all day, or set in up what they call the day room to watch TV. Right. But they're not really, you know, I, I try to get out, go outside, walk. I go to the in, room at the end, I do some things up there, and then I walk around. There's some activities over there. Huh? Yeah. There's some activities. I go to the, some of the classes, her points. Any chance you can get involved in, uh, like, a joint housing program or... Uh, I haven't really applied thing. too much for it, you know. Even as a veteran, I haven't done much. I'm trying to get out and out and move in with some friends here in Nashville. Well, I'll pray that that works out for you. Thank you. All prayers are accepted and needed. Yes. Well, I'm glad you accept Now, when you're at uh, the rescue mission, do they, do they have a curfew? Do they have a time you have to be back? Or you're right. Yeah, you have to be back by 6.30 in the evening. Every evening you have to yeah. check in at 6.30? Before 6.30. 6.30. Or you're yeah, out like they, they, they close it down. They close it down at 6.30. You're out, yeah, you're out for the night. Then, of course, guys have fights and all. They bar them out for a night or two or three nights, whatever it is. We can, some of them get barred permanently. on the type of infraction. Yeah. Well, they've got a monumental task on their hands, right? I just don't see how they can, some of these guys can handle it. I know I, it would be very hard for me to. I'd be praying every day. Every yeah. hour. There's constant arguing. I mean, it's just... Then you get to see two old guys down on the floor fighting with each other, you know? And, and it can be over something just ridiculous. Yeah. Something, if somebody says something or something, you know, whatever it takes. The story I hear from some of the gentlemen is just a lot of thievery, a lot of theft. Very. It's hard. I have lo I've lost I've lost a walker with had two, two t backpacks on it that had my phone in it. You have a phone now? Yeah, I have a phone now. You replaced it. And I've lost three phones. I've lost charge cables. I've even lost a water bottle. I mean, I've lost, I've lost, and I, my bag had a bad box of club crackers in it. They still there. I mean, just anything, they like, still hats, whatever. Doesn't matter. If you're asleep, they'll, they'll, they'll steal you raw. Like, I've never heard, never felt, been around that kind of environment in my life. Yeah, it brings out the worst in human nature, doesn't it? Yeah. And I, and you would not, I don't know what I said. People on the outside have no no clue how filthy things are, these people. I mean, I'm talking about bad, bad commodes that you can not even want to even look at. It's so bad. People peeing on the floor in the middle of dorms and stuff like that. Just, it just, it's, it's just crazy. It's, it's absolutely. What's it going to take to get you out of there, will you? Uh, my next check, hopefully. My next retirement check. Uh, Social Security check. Yeah, you don't fit the profile. Uh, I don't. But I'm glad it's there to help feel, you. I feel like I don't belong there at all. I don't think you belong there. I'm glad it's there for you. You, you know what I'm saying? I'm glad that you've got, at least got that. But I mean, it's. I would think there's, there's a lot trying, of they're trying to help you get placement, get assistance. The VA is not helping you. No. I I fall under just certain number of days to qualify. I don't know how they do. They do they, they calculate days or whatever it is that you serve. And, and I've never had any very any luck with the VA very much as far even. So I got my own medical insurance, which is TRICARE. But no, I, don't, I feel like I don't belong there. Oh, I told you my name's William. Yes. Sir. Uh, this is actually a reality show. 
called Rod with Willie. Oh, Rod with Willie. Oh, okay. See the cameras in the yeah. car? Yeah. Oh, you got two cameras. Would you care if I shared your story on my YouTube channel? No, that's fine. Riding with Billy, how about that? Yeah, yeah. you're riding with right. Billy. I just want to be careful what you share in the end. Right, right share reality show. Be careful what you share. You shared a wonderful story. I would like you. to you know, make it public. You scan that on your phone, and it'll take it to the YouTube channel. It will? Okay. You see the show. Definitely want to hear your story. Thank you. Thank you. That's nice. Thank you. I like the, like the graphic. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, it's got the uh, Batman in behind the background. Yeah, it's uh -huh. got the stadium. It's uh -huh. the stadium. Uh -huh. Robin Auditorium. Plane. Yep. Stadium. Yeah, I see the stadium. And there's you. You wouldn't believe the stories I hear. Oh, I bet. <laughs> That's when the nurse is checking my heart. Heart. <laughs> Pulse and what And what's she, do, what is she doing? Bachelorette. Oh, oh! Once you get the sash on, you mean you because of, yeah. this is a bachelorette world, exactly. center, world center, bachelorettes, parties, musicians, musicians, executives. Hey, you got it all there. Yeah. You got all there. Yeah, meanwhile, it takes all kinds of people. <laughs> it's been nice meeting you. You too. You too, William.